Hello everyone, today I'm going to be bringing you my June favourites. Um, sorry it's a little bit late this month but unfortunately I've been really busy and this week I haven't been very well so I haven't really feel like filming a video um, but hopefully this is not too late for you guys to enjoy so let's get on with it shall we? So first up I want to start with a skincare item that I've really been loving this month and it is the La Roche-Posay F.A. Clar um, Lotion Astringent and it's basically um, a lotion just like a toner and you're supposed to use it after you've cleansed and it just helps to tighten up the pores and I've been really finding that this has just totally cleared up my skin and if you've watched any of my other videos then you'll know that I'm a really big fan of um, La Roche-Posay and especially the F.A. Clar range I just think it's really great for problem prone skin it's really great at helping you clear up your spots and also keeping them at bay and at first I tried this and it was really harsh smelling like not the the usual um, La Roche-Posay sort of smell which is usually quite flowery I felt like this smelled a lot like surgical spirit and when um, I applied it I thought oh that's really drying but I use this morning and evening and I haven't found that my skin is too dry and I've just found it's just cleared everything up just so wonderfully and I keep saying it but I'm actually going to do a video on um, how I keep my skin clear so th things and bits and pieces that I'm, I do in order to keep my skin as clear as possible, the products I use and just like little tricks and tips and things like that so I'm going to do that soon but um, just in the meantime I just thought I'd mention this because I bought this late May I think early June and I've been using it I mean you can see how much I've used and I used, just use it day and night as I've already said but it's really really great and if you're suffering with any kind of skin troubles then this is probably a product that you'd want to go and pick up. So I'm going to move on to makeup y items now that I've been loving and I want to start off with these two brushes that I've loved using this month and that I actually bought this month and it's the Real Techniques powder brush and it just looks like that, it's fairly bog standard and also the Bluffs brush which just looks like that and I've just found these brushes, I think I've said it before in past videos they wash up really well, although I haven't washed either of these, unfortunately, for the purposes of this video. Um, but they just wash up so nicely. They dry really quickly. The product goes on really well with them. And they're just really fantastic brushes. They're just so inexpensive as well. I just think they're really great purchases. And you can get um, different sets and things like that. But I just really wanted my Body Shop brush, which I usually use for powder, um, and I featured it in a blog post recently but it's just gone slightly, I'm not sure, it's just not working the way that it used to work before and so I thought I'd treat myself to a new brush and I really liked the the dome and the fact that it's so big and it's so soft and fluffy and because I really like this I treated myself to the blush brush as well so I've been really loving those two this month next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Rimmel Match Perfection with SPF 18 it's a light perfecting radiance foundation and it just looks like this and I really love the wake me up foundation I find Rimmel just suits my skin I know what kind of um, shade I'm, I am I've got Ivory 100 which I believe is one of the lightest um, I do find them they tend to be slightly orangey so just sort of be careful um, but I I was just I love the wake me up but what I don't love about it is what I do and I don't love about it because I do like it for it but then also when the summer months are coming along you don't want to be too shimmery it has a shimmer in it and that's okay I think uh, when you're in the winter and you just want to perk up your skin but in the summer when the sun is really shiny you don't want to sort of look like um, really Edward Cullen all the time you know like shimmering in the light so I picked up this foundation and it's just a light perfecting radiance foundation it's just really really good it's not I'd say it's light to medium coverage I wouldn't say um, any more than that and I I just find it really suits my skin I never get any breakouts with it it just looks nice it just 
but I just feel like when it's on my skin always just looks nice and bright and I really like that so I've been really enjoying this and I just really like the formulas of these they go on with enough coverage but not too much that you think oh it's really sitting on my skin and I've just been really really loving that this month so that's another little favourite of mine from the Rimmel collection I do really like pretty much anything that Rimmel brings out um, and I don't know what made me pick this up but I just thought I'd give it a try and it was a great little buy next up I'm going to move on to eyes I feel like I've got loads of makeup and body products to show you guys but the next things I'm going to show you are eye related and the first thing is the Bourjois Volume 1 Second Waterproof Mascara and these are a fairly new product and I actually picked this up because I was going to wireless festival at the beginning of July and I didn't know whether it was going to be raining or whether it was going to be lovely and sunny so I just thought I'd edge my bets and buy myself the waterproof mascara because I don't actually own any waterproof mascaras I just find them I just don't really need to use one there's not many instances where I feel you know I'm, my face is going to be getting wet the only time I do find perhaps is that I might need one is that when I go to the gym at lunch I do find I do have a little bit of drop down or you know my mascara is running from where I've had a really hard workout so this is going to be really great when I get back to the gym but unfortunately I haven't been going recently because I haven't been very well I really liked this I bought it for wireless but I've used it um, pretty much throughout June and I really enjoy the um, the formula of this the fact that obviously it's waterproof so it stays on a lot better and it's just a really nice little mascara and I've never actually tried any bourgeois mascaras before but I'd probably be inclined to try another one now on the basis that I've really enjoyed this one and you can actually get this just in a normal version not just the waterproof but because that's what I felt like I needed it for I thought I'd just pick up the waterproof one but yeah it's a really great little mascara and it's it's slightly different in that it has tiny little balls all over the the brush and the mascara but it's a plastic wand which I personally really enjoy using I don't know if this would make me change up my L'Oreal Million Lashes I really enjoy that and that's still probably my favourite mascara that I've tried so far but this is a good little mascara if you're in the market for something new which of course I was at the time so yeah I'm really glad I bought that Next up is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Black Shock Gel Liner and this is actually a gel pen liner so instead of it being in a little pot that you'd have to put on with a little brush this is actually in a felt tip pen form so you will literally just take it across your eyes just like that but unlike normal felt tip liners this is actually a gel one so a gel one will help you know keep the, it just a, a longer lasting product and it's really what I needed for wireless festival I know I've mentioned it already but I really you know when you're at a festival the last thing you want to be doing is keep checking your makeup you don't want to see that your mascara is running because someone's just thrown a beer all over the crowd and now your face is all wet or you don't want to you know be thinking oh it's my eyeliner is really not lasting that well and your face is halfway down your face so I just thought I'd buy myself something that I knew wouldn't budge and this gel liner was really really good I know I'm talking about this in July but I have actually used it in throughout June as well it's a really great and easy liner to use and if like me you prefer like pen liners as opposed to sort of just the normal ones like with the nib on them um, this is a really great investment and it's also a really great I haven't tried the benefit push-up liner which they've recently launched but if you're in the market for a cheap alternative, I'd say you couldn't go wrong with this because you've got gel liner and it's a pen. It's going to be really easy to work with and I just find this a really great product. So I've been loving using that this month. Um, yeah, really great little purchase. And I didn't actually know that anyone else made a gel liner. So if you're thinking that the Benefit one, perhaps you don't want to give it a go or it might just be too expensive for you, then have a look in the Maybelline section and this will be a really great alternative. Next up we've got some lip products that I've been really loving this month and the two that I've been using, um, well I've actually got three but the two from the same collection that I've been using the most are the Rimmel Apocalypse and I've recently featured these in a blog post but I'll just show you guys these them here. They're just sort of like a light pink, but or not a light pink but a dark 
pink but a very sort of muted natural looking pink not like a Barbie pink just a really easy pink to wear and also slightly darker um, sort of light purple I'd say um, these are called 301 Galaxy and 101 Celestial and I've been really loving these I've never picked up an apocalypse before because I've just always found them too bright I think and I'm not really into really bright pinks I like reds I often wear a lot of sort of bright reddy orangey corally colours but I don't ever really find myself picking up a bright pink so when I spotted these two very natural looking colours I just thought I had to get them and like I said I think I've just mentioned that I recently um, mentioned these in a blog post for my picks that I would have for summer lip products and I just feel like these two are really easy the formula is really great they stay on really nicely they go on really nicely they're really creamy they're not dissimilar to the bourgeois um, I can't remember the name of the bourgeois velvet edition red velvet edition I'm not quite sure of what the name is but I've I think I've mentioned them recently as well in another favourites video but they're not dissimilar to them in the fact that they go on really creamy but then they dry but they're not as matte as the um, bourgeois um, I think they're called bourgeois velvet edition I think they're red, red edition anyway I think you know what I mean, they're just tiny little things and they're fairly new and everyone's been talking about them but um, I'll leave a link down below because I've recently mentioned them all in a blog post so I'll leave that link down below but I just thought I'd show you guys these even though I have mentioned them fairly recently they're just really great little summery picks really, they're very easy to wear, I often find myself wearing them to work they're nothing too bright, they don't stay on as well as the bourgeois ones, that is the only thing I'll say but you know, sometimes I don't want a lipstick that's going to stay on all day. Sometimes I just want it to last for, you know, the journey into work or a lunchtime or something like that. So they're just really easy and they're pretty inexpensive. I think I picked these up three for two, I think, in Superdrug or Boots, one of those. So they're, you know, things like these are always on offer. Next lip product that I've been really loving this month is actually a Body Shop lipstick and it is in the colour number 18. Um, which doesn't really help me, but it just looks like that. It's a really sort of nice corally colour. When you look at it here, it looks very, I think it looks very bright. And after I bought it, I thought, oh, what have I done here? But it's a really great, just very sheer, very natural looking lip colour. It just looks like, say, like your lip colour, but just a little bit better, just a little bit brighter. It's just a really easy colour to wear and this would look really nice with a smoky eye or whether you're, you know, you're wearing a really heavy eyeshadow then that would just complement it really great. And again, I've been finding myself using this all the time for work in the mornings. They're just really creamy, they really condition my lips, they're just a really, I love the Body Shop lipsticks. They, I just think they're really great products and I really love using them and I'm really glad I picked that up and I think it might actually be part of their sort of like summer collection so it might not be around too much longer but it's just a really nice sort of your lips but better type thing so I've been really enjoying that this month. I'm going to move away from makeup items now and I'm just going to mention give a quick shout out to the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub and these have been featured so many times I've written a post about my popcorn one and I just love these if you've never tried a lip scrub then these are a really great starter. I mean, they're not particularly cheap. I don't think they're £5 for a pot, but they do last and they do smell lovely and they do taste great. And they're just really wonderful for just a little lip prep before you put on a really heavy lipstick or whatever. I just think sometimes, you know, they're just really great for everyday use. They're not too harsh. They smell really nice. I'll usually use this at night or, it, like I say, if I'm putting on like a lip colour that I really you know I really want to keep my nice my lips nice and smooth for then I'll just pop this on before and you just literally just get a little bit on your finger out of the pot and scrub it on and they're really easy to use really nice smelling like I've already said really nice tasting and if you haven't tried one of these then you should probably go and buy yourself one because they're a really great little investment I feel like this June favourites or this favourites video is going really long and really windy but I've just been loving so many things this month. Sometimes I find I don't really have anything to talk to you guys about and then other months I think 
how am I going to fit this all into one sort of 10 minute video but I've been really loving two body products this month and the first one I want to talk to you guys about is the Vaseline Spray and Go Body Moisture, Moisturiser sorry. and it literally does what it says on the tin you just spray this and you go and it's so easy to use and I must admit I'm not the kind of person that likes to moisturise in the morning because I just find it really laborious and boring and sometimes I don't have time usually when I'm getting up for work I just like to get out the door and this is just really great I've bought this for home and I've bought it for the gym because I really love using it you can literally just spray this and you just give it a little rub in and you're good to go it smells really nice this is the coconut one and it just applies really nicely my skin always feels nice and soft afterwards it's a really great product. The only drawback I would say is I have, every time I've bought this, and I've bought it three times now, I've tried to get it on offer because it is ridiculously expensive. It's £4.99, I think, if you pay normally, and I think £5 for a moisturiser, I just, I think that's, I personally think that's too expensive. I think they should lower the price on this, but otherwise, it is a really great little investment. It's just so easy and if you're like me and you don't have a lot of time in the mornings or you're not really into moisturising then this is a great little pick up for you because it's just so simple and easy. If you watch my recent body shop haul then it will come as no surprise to you that I am going to feature in my June favourites the almond body butter from the body shop. This has just been, oh I just love this, I love the smell of this, I love the feel of it afterwards, I am just in love with this product. And like I've just mentioned, I'm not really one for moisturising in the mornings. I just like to get up and I like to go. But I've been using this at night, um, just before I go to bed. I will just smother myself in it everywhere. Arms, chest, legs. It's really great for dry legs, which I often find I suffer with. And it is just lovely. It leaves my skin so lovely and soft in the mornings. It smells absolutely delicious. If you like the smell of cherry bake oils then you're going to absolutely love this and it just is a really great product. I wouldn't necessarily, I mean if on a weekend I may use it if I'm not particularly you know, in a rush to get somewhere because it takes ages to sink in, that's all I will say. It's not really one for if you're on the move all the time or if you really need to get out really quickly. That's why I quite like using it at night, um, I just find it's just a lot better for me. Um, and it's just really great, it's got almond oil in it and it's for normal to dry skin and it just leaves my skin so nice and baby soft so I've been really loving that this month. We are nearly there, I promise. The last body product I've got to show you guys is um, the Soap and Glory Pulp Friction Foamy Fruity Body Scrub and I've just noticed that I've had really, you know, dry, lifeless looking skin so I thought I do use a body scrub anyway, but because this is sort of like a foaming one, it's it just it, it can wash and exfoliate at the same time. It's really great. I really like this. I really love the smell of this. I really love the product. My skin always feels lovely and silky and smooth after I've used it, and it's just really great. And it's you know it's a fairly big old tub, and it, I don't think it was particularly expensive. Again, I don't think that was particularly expensive. One thing I will say is that it's fallen apart already, um, there's a split up the seam, but hey ho, that's how it goes. That is a really great body scrub, and if you don't want anything that's too harsh, um, that you can use every day, I try and use it most days, I don't use it every day, but you know, you could generally use it every day I think. It's a really great purchase. And this is my first Soap and Glory body product, and I wasn't sure to go for this one or the orange gasm, orange gasm, but I'm really glad I picked this up, I really like the scent, it's quite sweet, um, it's quite nutty, and it's it's just really nice, I really like that. Okay, this is my last beauty favourite for this video, and it's the V05 Refresh Me Quick Dry Shampoo, get a fresh look and feel between washes for normal to oily, oily hair. I love using dry shampoo. There are always going to be days when you're not going to want to wash your hair. Because I have coloured hair, I don't like to wash it every day. Otherwise, I'd just be washing it out. And I am always on the hunt for a good dry shampoo, which is going to do the job, but not leave your hair too chalky, too white, or just feeling horrible and tacky. 
and this is a really great product. I love, I think I've mentioned recently that I love all the VO5 range and hence why I picked this up because I just thought, why not? Because I just love all the rest of them. The smell is so nice, it's so fruity and I often keep smelling it throughout the day which I think is really great. And when you spray this on, unless you're spraying it like, like totally all over for like seconds, you're not going to see any white marks, but it still does the job. I have noticed if I'm sort of over spraying a little bit, it does tend to get a bit white. But as soon as I've brushed it through or patted it through, then it just fades instantly. Whereas with the Baptiste shampoos, I do find they come out white, unless you want buy one specifically not white, i.e. for brown or red hair. Then I, f I just find them too tacky as well sometimes. But this is really great. It's a really refreshing scent and it just does the job, no white marks, no tack, so I've been really loving that this month. I know that was a really long video, but I hope you enjoyed my June favourites, and hopefully if you're watching, it could give you some ideas for what to buy, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.